Hey guys, today we're going to talk about MTG Finance for the day. Um, if you guys enjoy this segment and want to see more of it, uh, then leave us a comment below. We will do the daily finance and talk about some cards we like. Maybe I'll make a video specifically analyzing um, the actual card. But yeah, Amy's real interested in MTG Finance. I think her first big speculation was Narwhals. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was a really good, I mean, it I mean, made us some money, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, so let's talk about the first card on this list. Hey, so the first card we have is Goblin Wilder. Yesterday's price was 192 and today is 449 So it actually went up for 100%. And why do you think it went up? I think it's a rare card. No, no, it was a reprint. Oh, okay. Take another guess. Um, it was Commander card. Yeah, it's a Commander card and Commander players are just crazy. Oh. Okay, Heart of Karen. Now, that one's interesting. You're going to pre-release Friday night, right? Yes. Do you want to tell them where you're going or do you want to keep it a secret? I'm just keeping it a secret. Okay, we'll keep it a secret. Um, but that card is not printed yet mm -hmm. and is already going up a price, right? Yeah. So welcome to MTG Finance where yeah. things just, you know, so what's the old price? What's the new price? Okay, so that was interesting. So that card hasn't even come out yet. So it's automatically gotten uh, raised prices has raised so yesterday it was at fifteen fourteen, and today it was at twenty ninety five. so it went about like $5. so this is the card you want to pull a pre-release mm -hmm. right this is the most it'll pay for your pre-release yeah um i think we paid 25 dollars for a mission right mm -hmm. okay so let's talk about this one can you pronounce his name uno log mog <laughs> i can't pronounce his name either <laughs> i seize his hunger right so yesterday's was at seventeen twenty six. And today it was at twenty one ninety nine. But it's been climbing this entire time because another card Emiko was banned, and that's why. Oh, okay. Um, so I mean, this is a big one because Unmasked today has only gone up five dollars. Mm -hmm. But let's scroll all the way to the bottom where we see Unmasked. Can you talk? Last week, how much was it? So last week it looks like it's about five twenty two, and today it went up by thirty five dollars. So that's a big change, about five hundred percent. Five hundred seventy percent, right? Yeah, five hundred seventy percent, like. You know, um, why? <laughs> like, if you had to guess, mm -hmm. what would you guess? Why oh. do you think this card, why do you think a card in general can just go up 500%, right? Like it's kind of, it's like a stock market, mm -hmm. but more lucrative, really. Yeah. If I were to be quite, quite honest. If you know what you're doing, mm -hmm. which we at MTG Finance really support our viewers not investing your life savings in magic cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So take a guess. Um, the reason why they, I think they have gone up is because it's been a card that's been a while for a long time. Yeah, it's been steady. It's been you know the same price for a long time. Someone mm -hmm. decides to buy all the copies of it. Yeah. And jack up the price, which is like what happened to this card. Yeah. Which is what you did. Norwell. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, are you gonna sign some of these and send them out to subscribers? Yeah. So whoever wants my, I guess, autograph, you, if you want one, I can sign one for you and send one out for you. So. If but, Please, but you have to pay for postage and stuff, right? Yeah, like, just leave a comment and, and let me know. And you're going to sign your fake name, right? Like how I sign MTG line, you're mm -hmm. signed like MTG something. Yeah. What do you want to be? Um, do you just, I mean, do you want to be a lion? It doesn't really make sense because then like who are they referring to? You. Well, I mean, <laughs> maybe. Like, maybe you didn't take over the channel. I don't know. Um, I, I honestly have to think about a name for me. Maybe leave in a comment section below. Yeah. Um, and we'll read. No, no. The comments are going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can always see it. Like I know, I know my subscriber base. They're they're not they're not gonna give you a good name. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty interesting. Um, on mask, I'll probably make a separate video of exactly why it went up in price. Why I think so. Healy Rye is actually a card I told him to buy. Okay. I told him to buy at five dollars, right? Yeah. And now it's twenty four ninety nine. And still going, and people yeah. say, "Oh, you know, it's going to drop." It's still going up, like. Hey, and then people, you know, here's a criticism people have made of me. It's like, oh, I just get lucky. But then how can I get lucky all the time? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Like, here's the Fug card um, that has gone up a lot because of, you know, the banning of Gary Grave Troll. So now we have to play Fugs. Uh, Rainbow Veil from Fallen Empires, actually. We have a ton of these. Oh, wow. In storage. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll make you uh, pull them out of storage. That'd be because, great. Because, uh, <laughs> Because we have lots of fallen empires, <laughs> which is which is a set, right? Yeah. And then here's our uh, sword of me coalition. Yeah, Hard Karen is the only pre-release card that's going up, or it's it's going up. Colgan's command is going up because of Frontier. Yeah. So Frontier is a new format. What do you feel about that? I know you and me play casually. Mm-hmm. What a Frontier format? Yeah. Do you like it? Do you like the? I was, mm, no, I don't. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Most of my subscribers don't like it either. <laughs> you know, it, it's really to make money. Like, I yeah. always tell people 
that if there's chains, it's making money. Mm -hmm. So I want as much chains as possible. Bannings, like I, I didn't like the bannings personally because I think it's bad for players. Yeah. But honestly, it makes money, right? It just makes money. Yeah. So okay, any last words to, for the subscribers of um, you're going to get your iPad tomorrow? Yeah. You're going to draw some. Leave a comment. What? Who's your favorite female planeswalker? And I guess we'll draw your draw it on Friday. Yeah. Yeah, you draw it Friday. You get the mm -hmm. iPads coming Friday. Yeah. And then we'll spend like you spend 15 minutes. So well, you got to figure out how to film that. Yeah, okay. I'll definitely learn how to do that. I mean, I'm really you know happy. I'm gonna be creating artwork for Magic. So I would love to see your comments. You're like the only person. <laughs> I don't know anyone else is creating like, unless they're paid by magic themselves. Yeah, that's true. It's so, not, there's no fan art, right? Mm -hmm. So like fan art, there's so much fan art. Like I've, I've said this a million times. Yeah. But like I can commission 15 like people to make an anime, to make a Zula, right? Yeah. Or a Mai. Mm -hmm. But to you know, find commission someone to do Magic the Gathering, you'd be like, no. Yeah. <laughs> you just yeah, tell me I, no. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that or heard of anybody that does that. So... So you could cool. be the specialized, yeah. you know, obviously first Paige, one. well not in the first Paige, Paige and I have a vanilla artist, mm -hmm. and I actually have another artist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, if you guys like the um, MTG Finance Daily video, just really just vlogging and talking about, you know, MTG Finance, and, um, and yeah, it's cool. Anyways, do you want to say goodbye? Bye guys, hope to see your comments.